sponsored by Squarespace. This is how factory noodles are made in Japan. So I'm back with another Made in Japan video and this time we are in Yamanashi and the good folks at Hakubaku have allowed me to show you guys how Japanese noodles are made in a factory. But like always, if you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Japan merch. And if you guys have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, check out my Discord community. Okay, so I've made it inside, but in order for me to go into the factory, I'm gonna need a change. So let's do that now. Cool, that was easy. I got my coat on, but we need to find someone in order to get into the factory. Let's see if we can find someone now. Excuse me, can I go inside the factory with you? Yes, Noodles like udon and somen are a popular mainstay in Japanese food culture, which is why Hakubaku have been creating their specialized dry noodles since 1959, now employing 420 hardworking staff to make it all happen each and every day. And it's no surprise that their noodles have become a standard at family dining tables all throughout Japan. In fact, we've been serving their baby noodles to our son ever since he could start eating solids, which is why I'm so excited to take you on this factory tour today to show you how noodles are truly made in Japan. First thing in the morning, the flour for the noodles are delivered to the factory. This is where it all starts. The trucks are connected directly to a pipe on the facade of the building, which feeds directly in the larger tanks housed in the factory. Using a blend of different types of flour delivered to different tanks, the factory is able to craft their own specialized noodles. The flour is delivered in these huge truck tankers up to three to four times a day as the factory consumes about 11 tons of flour during peak times. So just behind me right here, the ingredients come down from the ceiling and they go into these mixer machines. After receiving the flour, flour and water are combined. In order to create a bouncy texture in the noodles, the company's mixer increases their water ratio compared to most other makers and performs their mixing in a vacuum state, which allows the water to permeate the flour, which creates a denser gluten, ultimately producing their own unique and signature noodles. This machine is able to mix 200 kilograms, about 440 pounds of dough at once. And during peak summer production times, they run up to 70 times a day, creating about 12 tons of dry noodles. After maturing for 20 to 40 minutes, it's conveyed into their custom pressing machines, which applies pressure both vertically and horizontally, ultimately creating a smooth and elastic structure. A total of six roller sections are implemented as each set of rollers creates a thinner and thinner dough. And depending on the product, the machine can press the dough as thin as one to two millimeters. When it reaches the final roller stage, the noodles are automatically cut with a threaded roller, hung on metal poles, and then ready for the drying process. The factory switches between 11 different threaded rollers called kiriha to produce various types of noodles. What's going on here? Let's find out. Hi, what are you doing? How long does it take you to make noodles? So what's the secret to all this? Cool, thank you. Now, one of the most critical parts, the drying process. The noodles are hung and cycled gradually through eight different different rooms with varying temperatures, humidity, and air blower strengths, which runs a total length of 400 meters, about 430 yards, for up to 16 hours, ensuring that the center of the noodle is completely dried, preventing breakage. Let's see what's going on on this side of the factory. After the noodles have completely dried, they're brought into the cutting and packaging area. Uniquely, the factory invented and developed specialized production line machines to cut, bundle, and package their noodles. In total, about 60 of these marvelous time-saving machines were built by their in-house engineering team. Hakubaku in fact create many other barley-based products, but in this noodle factory, they produce 55 different types of noodles, focusing on making two to three types each day. Oh wow, it looks like this lady is replacing the bundling tape. 
by developing and supporting their machines in-house, they're able to quickly customize for a variety of noodle products. For example, in Japan, the standard noodle length is 20 centimeters, but since smaller pots have become popular these days, the factory quickly adapted to make shorter versions. Oh cool, what's this? Let's see what they're doing. So this is the packaging area for the baby noodles with a length of 2.5 centimeters. A lot shorter than standard noodles so parents don't have to cut it at home. As a parent myself, anything to save time on meal prep is very much appreciated. Just look at these machines go! Package after package coming down the line. Hi, can I ask you a question? Hi, right over there. So what's the most important thing about packaging? Now to the final stage, the products are sorted, boxed, and loaded onto pallets for delivery. This process is fully automated as even the conveyors are able to recognize the different types of boxes to feed to the correct pickup location. There's even an automated crane that's able to sort the different types of boxes and stack them perfectly. And there you go, the noodles are ready for delivery. Quickly, before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs, which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So there you go, go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Alright, let's continue on with this tour. <laughs> So this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't explore what the other workers are doing to make this all happen. So I've made it to their office area. Let's see what they're doing here. Wow, this is great. Look, everyone is wearing blue uniforms. Oh look, I guess not everyone is wearing a blue uniform. This place is so big, I wonder where these doors go. Let's see what's behind this one. So this is the Quality Assurance Test Lab. Samples are taken regularly from their packaged products and a slew of tests are performed every day. So let's see what she's doing. Excuse me, what are you working on? Sodium tests are especially important because they also offer sodium free noodle products. But they also run tests on things like flour. Only the ones which pass the rigorous testing are used in the factory. And wow, the lab has so much equipment. These are used to analyze the residue of agricultural chemicals. And this one is to clean the pipettes. So cool! Oh damn, is this a taste testing? So this is called Kanno Hyoka, a blind taste test of their products. The team also conduct a Shishoku Hyoka, an open taste testing of their products for qualities such as taste and color, followed up with a group discussion. Excuse me, what are you doing? So what do you think? Thank you! Man, we are exploring today. Let's see what's beyond this door. Yo, what's all this? And what do you do? Oh, how often do the machines break down? And who made these machines? What's the most challenging part of the job? Baby 
すごい大変でした縁の長さが長かったり短かったりしても、えー、と赤ちゃんたちが食べにくいので同じ長さに揃える機構を考えることがとても大変でした So apparently these are the engineers that build the factory machines from design, programming, testing all the way to the final build It's amazing that the company not only makes noodles but they make the machines that help them craft the noodles Definitely worthy of the title Made in Japan And it looks like they do maintenance on all the equipment here. These bad boys are the tools used to curve, shape, drill, and build their product line machines. So dope! What up, d o e 先ほど練った麺の生地を生地の状態にしていって、この後それを麺状のものにしていきます。So, this is the product development area where all the new products come to life. The workers use these scaled down versions of their factory machines to create prototypes. This machine here is similar to the large six roller press found in the factory, but instead of being done automatically, the dough has to be fed by hand. A little bit more work, but to the same effect. How many times do you need to press the dough? Now he changes the roller to a noodle cutter, similar to what we saw in the factory. Having threads of different sizes allows them to develop different types of noodles. Apparently, the team creates about four to five prototypes a year, but only one or two ever make it to market. Unfortunately, he can't share what he's working on, but I'm digging the green noodles. Finally, he places the noodles in a specialized tank to dry for later testing and development. So that's how noodles are made in Japan. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, made in Japan videos, or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.